What's up guys, hope y'all doing good, it is OG Tech here. And in today's video, we are going to be covering Valorant Full Optimization Guide. These tweaks will give you the maximum FPS and lowest latency. This is also good for low, medium, high-end laptops and desktops, and works on both Windows 10 and 11. So let's get into the video. Let's start with essential Windows settings. So navigate to the system. In the display section, scroll down a little bit and go to the advanced system settings. Make sure you have selected the maximum number of refresh rates. After that, go back and scroll down this side panel and click on about. On the right side, click advanced system settings. In the performance section, click on settings. Now, uncheck all of these settings except show thumbnails and smooth edges. Once you've done that, click apply and click OK and get back to the main setting display. Now go to the gaming tab and turn off the Xbox game bar and uncheck this box as well. After that, go to the game mode and make sure you have turned this on. Now, again get back to the main display and go to the privacy tab and scroll down until you find background apps and make sure you have turned off let apps run in the background. Next, we are going to disable our browser from running in the background. So open up your browser and click on these three dots in the top right corner and then select settings. After that, click on system and then turn off this option, continue running background apps. If you have a different browser, you can do the same thing there too. Go to the settings and check where this option is located. Next up we are going to disable full screen optimization and set the graphic preference to high. So right click on your Valorant icon and click on open file location. Now right click on Riot Client Services and click on properties. After that, go to the compatibility and check disable full screen optimization and click on change high DPI settings. Check the box and click OK. Now click apply and click OK. After that, go to the Riot Games folder and click on Valorant folder. Go to Live folder and do the same thing to this Valorant application that we did to Riot Services. After you've done that, go to the shooter game. Click on Binaries. Win64. Now scroll down until you find Valorant Win60 for shipping. Again, do the same thing that we did to the other two applications. Next, we are going to set the graphics preference to high. For that, click on this bar and copy the location path. Minimize the folder. Now right click on your display and click on display settings. Scroll down and go to the graphics settings. Now click on browse. And click on this bar. Paste the location path that we copied earlier and press enter. Now, click on Valorant Win60 for shipping and click add. Now go to options and set the graphic preference to high. After that save it. Now, again go to the browser and go back to the live folder. Now add Valorant application to the graphic preference and go to options. Set it to high and click on save. Next, we are going to customize the Valorant Gamer user settings. So right click on your Windows icon and click run. And type percent app data percent. After that click OK. Now click on the app data and go to the local. After that, scroll down and go to Valorant. Go to saved. And click on config. If you have logged into multiple accounts in your Valorant, You'll see here different files with numbers and letters. If not, you will have only one folder just like this. So double click on it. Go to Windows. Now right click on Game User Settings and open it with Notepad. If your PC really struggles to run Valorant, I recommend using 800 by 600 resolution. When you lowering the resolution of your game, you'll get more frames per second, but the image and video quality will be blurry. Also, make sure you have chained the same resolution in this to red outline settings. Next, we are going to reduce even more resolution quality. In this section, 
I have mentioned some recommended settings. Try to test these settings and find what is best for you. A lower value means your game becomes more blurrier. If you don't want any hazy gameplay, skip this section. The second setting is view distance quality. Again, lowering the value means your game will become more blurry. Personally I like it to set too. Because sometimes it's hard to aim at far targets. The third one is anti-aliasing quality. For this, I highly recommend you to set it to zero because this costs a lot of performance. Next one is shadow quality. For this, I would recommend you set it to zero because this also reduces performance significantly. The fifth one is post-process quality. Post-processing improves the game's visual aspects and makes the images more lifelike and vivid. So this requires additional processing power from your graphics card and CPU. For this also I would recommend to set zero. Sixth one is texture quality. Textures overlaying objects in the game and FPS. For example, bricks, trees, grass, and more will be sharper the higher the setting. For this, also set to zero. Next up, effects quality. This is the quality of any object that requires an effect of some sort to appear. Make it to zero as well. The eighth one is foliage quality. Foliage controls the quality of plants in the game. The higher setting will make the grass visible from a greater distance. And the lower the setting, the higher the FPS we get. However, these settings do not affect that much for Valorant like other games. So make it to zero as well. The last setting is shading quality. This is determined by the size of the triangles used for splined and rotated surfaces for shading. The higher the quality, the smoother the curved surfaces appear when shaded. This will result in some FPS drops, so change the value to zero. Next, we're going to optimize system configuration. Right click on your Windows icon and click Run. After that type MS config and click OK. Now go to the boot option. Click on the advanced options. And check this box to indicate the number of processors. And select the highest number of processor. After that click OK. And go to the services section. First, make sure you have ticked this box. Which is hide all Microsoft services. After that, you need to carefully go through this list and then check the services that you don't want to run in the background. Once you've done that, apply it and click OK. And restart your PC. Next, we are going to optimize our CPU using a software called Quick CPU. Go to the link in my description and scroll all the way down and download the 64-bit version. Once you've downloaded it, run the setup and install the software. This software can unpark your CPU cores which can result in a noticeable FPS boost. However, I do not recommend doing this on a laptop because it will significantly drain the battery and might have FPS drops on laptops. If you're going to try this, make sure you play one or two matches before you applying the optimization and check the results. Also, this can easily be reverted back to the default settings. First, if you're on a laptop, change the system power setting to plugged in AC and change the system power plan to high performance. Now, if you have an ultimate performance power plan, make sure you have changed it to that and click on set as active. Now, in the bottom left, make these sliders to 100%. After that, click apply and it will show you a pop-up message that the changes were successfully applied. And now you can play the game and see if there is any good performance. If you feel it's good, you can uninstall the program unless you change the power plan. If you ever wanted to revert back to default settings, simply click on this down arrow and click on reset power settings and simply click on accept. Next, download my Valorant pack from the link in the description and extract the file using 7-zip or WinRAR and open the pack and go to the first folder. Now. Before we apply the registry tweaks, we need to create a restore point, just in case if something goes wrong. I'll show you two ways to create a restore setting. Go to the search bar, type registry editor and open it. Now, head over to the top left hand side to file, and click on export. Then simply name it to backup registry, and click on save. And now you'll have your backup registry file. 
If you want to revert back to the old settings, simply double click on this. The second method is using a system restore point. Simply double click on create a restore point. And make sure your system drive is on. And then click on create. Now name it whatever you like. After that, click on create. This will take a while, but when it's done, it will pop a message like this. Now we can apply the registry tweaks. Also, if you want to know what each of these registry tweaks do, simply right click on it and click edit. I have mentioned the simplest way to define this registry tweak. Also, I suggest you to see every registry entry. So you'll have a brief idea about the tweak. Now double click on these registry files. Click yes and click OK. Now repeat the same thing for all the other registry tweaks. Next folder is Win32 Priority Separation. This allows you to optimize the CPU usage time in the foreground, as well as the background. If you haven't seen this video yet, I highly recommend you to do so. This will give you a full explanation of Win32 Priority Separation. Find your best hex value in these five files and apply it. For me it's 21, so I'm going to double click on it. Click Yes. And then click OK. In Win32 folder, there is another file called Thread Priority. This allows server threads to help out in the foreground. This works almost the same as Win32 Priority Separation. I'll suggest you to apply this tweak as well. The third folder is Valorant Priority. This will give your PC higher priority to Valorant than other apps. Simply double click on High Priority. Click Yes. And then click OK. And if you want to revert this, simply apply the default registry. The last folder is cleanups. These batch files will remove all of your useless files and cache. Simply right click on a batch file and run it as administrator. When it's done, it will say press any key to continue. Now, do the same thing to the other batch files as well. Log files are old recorded activities that happen within a system. So deleting log files can save a bit of space on your PC. These are just Windows Update caches. The system automatically caches all the Windows Update installations. The last one is Disk Cleanup. Right click on it and run it as admin. Now select your Windows drive and click OK. After that, simply check anything that you don't need. Once you finish, double check it to make sure you are not deleting anything that is necessary and click OK. After that, click on Delete Files. If you selected the Windows Update Cleanup, this will take a while to delete them. Next up, we are going to disable Windows Explorer. First, right-click on your Valorant icon and go to File Location. After that, copy the location path. Now, open up your Task Manager and right-click on Windows Explorer and click on End Task. When you end Windows Explorer, your screen will go black. But don't worry, we just need to open the Riot client. For that, simply click on File in the top left corner, and click on Run New Task. After that click on Browse. Now you need to paste that location path that we copied earlier. I'm just going to press Ctrl and V together, and press Enter. Now select Riot Client Services, and open it, and click on OK. After a few seconds, it will open the Riot client just like this. Now you can play the game by clicking on play. When you are finished playing, simply exit out of the Riot client. And click on these mini tray icon. This will open up your task manager. If you minimize task manager earlier, it will show you tray icon like that. But what if you didn't have that tray icon? Simply click the control, shift, and escape keys together. This is a shortcut key for Task Manager. Now let's see how we get back Windows Explorer. Simply go to the file and click on Run New Task. Now type Explorer. And click OK. Next up, in Game Settings. So, go to Settings. And go to Video. Set Display Mode to Full Screen. And change these settings just like mine. Also, 
if you have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Set it to on plus boost. After that, go to graphics quality and change all of these settings to the lowest possible. Just like mine. Also, if you have multi-threaded rendering at the top, make sure it's on. This can improve your CPU performance. And that's it for today's video guys. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And make sure to check out my other videos for further performance. Drop a like and stay subscribed to the channel. See you guys in the next video.